So to a lot of people, the hospice would be a, a terrible place to come, but we absolutely delighted with the facilities that we're um, able to offer um, patients and families. Not everybody comes to the hospice to die, and I think that should be a, a very important message, um, that you shouldn't be scared to come to the hospice. 50% of the work that we do within the hospice is around symptom management and a lot of patients do go home and they're able to live well um, for, for a lot longer um, than they possibly anticipated. I mean I love working at Lindsay Lodge Hospice, um, I couldn't imagine myself doing anything, anything else. I just feel that um, I can make a difference um, to patients' lives and their families along with the team that I work with, we all work together. But it's about, you know, the patients come towards that they're most vulnerable, um, as do the families. And I just feel that we can give that extra support and be there. We, we get lots of feedback from so many grateful families and, and the patients themselves. And you, you get really involved. And I just feel like I can really do my job properly. It just feels very worthwhile. I do love working for the hospice. I love the, the patients that we meet. I've met so many interesting characters along the way. And I, and I do feel like I can make a difference. You have the time, you have the resources and beautiful surroundings and support from lots of other good colleagues and, and the families and all the supporters that uh, raise money for the hospice, which without their help we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to, to work. So I just feel very honoured and yeah, I think if you're happy in your work you can do a good job. From that first time we ever yeah. came, we were just always made so welcome. Um, like the nurses, volunteers, the healthcare assistants would, you know, nothing was ever too much for them. Obviously they were there to care for my grandma, but as a family they just cared for us as well, didn't they? Yeah. And, yeah, um, yeah. You know, yeah. always made us feel welcome. I think there has always been a perception that you have to be really poorly to access hospice services, or equally um, we've had feedback from patients that have said I'm too well to access hospice services. And in reality the Wellbeing Centre can support people throughout their whole pathway, um, from, you know, from diagnosis, to live when well with that condition and equally when symptoms change and right through to end of life care and that's something that the Wellbeing Centre is able to, to support. And so we have a lot of patients that are quite reluctant at first to come to the, to the Wellbeing Unit because I think people often associate hospice with people dying which, which is the case but also uh, we, we offer a lot of support to people with neurological conditions uh, lots of life um, limiting conditions that we can really offer them support. They can come, they can meet like-minded people, we can offer them lots of support and signpost them to other support agencies. In, in summary, um, one of the most important things to do is, is acknowledge um, both the work that goes on, on here um, that's undertaken by our staff and our volunteers and, and I thank them for that. But importantly, um, it, it's about um, thanking those that support us. Um, we certainly need to remain a, a vibrant and, and happy place here in the local community in Scunthorpe, um, providing that outstanding care to families. And without the fundraisers and our donors, um, we, we just couldn't do it. So I take this opportunity to, to thank those that are supporting us and um, ask them to continue to do so in order that we, we survive and sustain um, ourselves over the next 25 years.